Hi folks, welcome back to my channel where I focus on backpacking, fly fishing, and making music. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up the M-Audio Oxygen Pro Mini to work with Cakewalk by BandLab. Just a few disclaimers. I'm not sponsored in any way by the products or software mentioned in this video. I purchased everything with my own money. It's up to you if you click like, subscribe, or ring the bell or whatnot. That's really not what drives this channel. I like making videos to help you in your DIY pursuits. And I have one favor to ask of you. If you click the dislike button, click it again, just to be sure. The first thing we have to do is ensure your computer is on and Cakewalk is not running. Now we connect the M-Audio Oxygen Pro Mini to the PC with a supplied USB cable. Now we need to configure the Oxygen Pro Mini to the Cubase mode. And we do that by pressing this DAW slash preset button. Make sure it's backlit red. Now long press until DAW appears in the small OLED display. Rotate the encoder knob to find Cubase and press the encoder knob to select it. Now we need to go over to Cakewalk. Start Cakewalk and load or select a new project. In this case, I've already set up a new project for this example, just to save time. Now we need to configure Cakewalk to use the Oxygen Pro Mini. Navigate to Edit, Preferences, or hit P on your keyboard, and it brings up a control menu. Navigate to MIDI Devices and under Input Drivers click Oxygen Pro Mini, MIDI N3 and you can leave the outputs just as is. We don't need to use the Oxygen Pro Mini for an output. You'll need to click Apply here for the rest of the steps to work properly. Now you can go over to Control Surfaces. We don't have any control surfaces added yet and that configures the keyboard as a MIDI controller device. Go up here to this yellow starburst square where it says add new controller surface and click on it. Next, select Mackie control as the controller surface. Select the input port as the MIDI N3 and the output port to none. Click OK. Now you can close the preferences window. Now we need to set the control surface to use the Mackie Control Universal protocol. Here's how we do that. We go up to Utilities, click on Mackie Control, which is what we just set up. It takes a few seconds and the screen will pop up. And only one thing we have to do here, we have to click Mackie Control Universal Cubase Mode. And that's it. You can close this window. Add an instrument track by dragging the selected mini instrument to the track window pane. In this case, I'll choose Keyzone Classic and it will create a track for this keyboard. Double click on this small icon right here to bring up the keyboard. Let's test, see if it works. seems to work. Let's check some general controls just to see if our setup works. Let's start with this leftmost fader right here. It should control, yep, and it does. Controls the fader for the volume setting on the track. This rotator knob right here should control panning. Sure does. And finally, let's check the pitch wheel to see if it works. Great. Now let's check the transport controls. Let's arm a track and press the round button on the Oxygen Pro Mini. That should start the recording process.
hit stop to stop the recording. Let's move that back to the beginning. And let's hit the transport button play on the keyboard to see if it plays it. And I'll hit stop and it takes us back to the beginning. If you hit play and hit play again, it stops right where the cursor is without going back to the beginning. These two keys here, double arrow left and double arrow right, take me back a measure at a time. Going back, go forward, and then back again. If I press this loop button, I get the loop identifier within Cakewalk, and I can change that to whatever I want. Let's say that I want to loop measure three only. So I'll just select this, just like that. Put my cursor just before it, hit play, and it should loop. Perfect. Hitting shift and loop turns off the loop function. Here's just a couple troubleshooting tips. I've had the best luck in using the ACO driver. And you'll set that by going up into here under audio, playback recording, and make sure the driver mode is ACO. It doesn't work too well with Wasapi Shared, Wasapi Exclusive, or any of the others that you see here. If you lose MIDI connection to a controller, you may not be in DAW mode on the keyboard. For example, I'm not controlling the volume of the track with this slider. All you have to do is simply press this button, DAW, so it's backlit red, and now I'm back to sliding the master volume with the slider on the keyboard. The methods shown in this video work for me, but you may run into unique issues specific to your keyboard, your computer, software, and maybe some plugins. If you have technical issues, it's best to search the web for solutions, as it's too difficult for me to remotely debug your issues. So I regret to say I won't answer technical support questions in the comments below. Aside from that, I hope this video has helped you out. Thanks for watching.